Well, Akai just released the MPC One Plus. Here it is, and I know y'all have the question, why? Well, I'll try to answer that. So as a quick comparison, I have the MPC One, which is the retro version, which isn't different from the original OG black version, and then the MPC One Plus, which again, sports the new colorway and a couple of new things. But as far as the layout goes on the buttons, they are exactly the same. And there's only one subtle difference and that is the tap tempo button, the shift function, instead of it being called master, like on the MPC one is called global and they do function exactly the same. But the big difference is on the MPC one plus, where you can see where the ethernet cable used to plug in is gone. A quick journey to the preferences will tell you the tail of the tape, as you will see that there is a Wi-Fi setting on the MPC One Plus. I can set it up to where I can do the activating plugins on here, as well as control Bluetooth. Just to show you there is a difference, what I'll do is click on this, and as you can see in the MPC one, the original MPC one, you do not have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi options. Not a big deal, right? Well, having access to Bluetooth like the MPC Live 2 X and the MPC Key 61 is very good because once I go into preferences here and then set up my Bluetooth and turn it on, I can find a device and then pair it to that device. Let's just say that device is the iPad. Just pair your iPad to it, then connect your MPC one. Go to an empty track, select your iPad, boom. Select your audio port, so you have audio coming through here. So let's go to audio and then turn on the audio. Now you have connection with your iPad or whatever Bluetooth device you want. You can see. Let's put that in the track. And that, hey, look. Let me switch sounds so proof of concept. That's a cold ass sound. I like that. Well, it does make a difference in terms of what you could do musically with your MPC One Plus. And in terms of like recording it, it's a pretty simple process. I mean, all you have to do is just go into your looper, so shift looper like normal and just make sure that you have a signal. Just uh, set it up for success. I guess I'll go with a four bar loop and just hit record and ready to go. Everything is recorded in there. Pretty easy step here. Just go to like export. Uh, I'll go into like a, a, I don't know, something simple. Since this program is not used, I will put this sample in there. You can just name it whatever you want, of course. Simple as that. So I just name it Polly. Boom. Do it. And press keep. You can still listen to it. And let's clear it. Go into main and then, you know, uh, go from the MIDI track to this track right here, select. And I'll just, I'll just name this, um, poly or something like that. Poly. Then record, play start and then record it in there.
should be recorded in there. And just to show you, I'm not pulling off any weirdo stuff. I switch the sound strings. It'd be strings right there. And when I press play, it's not that. Okay, so it's recorded in there. So it's just an audio file. So if I was to go to like warp sample and warp the sample, you can see it right here. Another thing that's new to the MPC One Plus is the ability to use Ableton Live Link. Seeing that you have Wi-Fi now, you can link this to your Ableton Live. And that's a cool addition to the MPC One Plus. And also you can activate your plugins via Wi-Fi as well. And you can get a new plugin for free called Jura and you can activate it and use it as well. It's free for the MPC One Plus and it costs about $99 for any other existing MPCs. Hot takes coming in. Well, we have the MPC One Plus in front of me and you know, one of the main things that I can say that is a huge improvement clearly is the new addition of Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Those are the main reasons why I kind of stepped up to the MPC Live 2 without a question. I thoroughly enjoyed my MPC One on release. It was one of the first MPCs I got in this modern day time and I thoroughly enjoyed it and it was right on time. It was a perfect name for an MPC. Now, there's a lot that I like about this. Clearly the Akai Red because Akai means red cherry blossom and that is kind of keen to that. Uh, other than that though, being able to work with the iPad and stuff like that is, is really good. And then just having access to Wi-Fi and to be able to update. And that's probably the biggest thing. A lot of people uh, struggle with the MPC One update videos that I dropped many a times and people still couldn't get it to register. And now all you have to do is just hook it up to your Wi-Fi and then update it and that's just an easier way to do it, which makes sense for them to refresh it. So, you know, people don't have to go through the struggle of putting it on a USB drive or might have a MacBook M1 or one of the Silicon Apple computers or even an older MacBook with a different OS and it causes all kinds of issues. So the re-release does make sense in that regard. However, I know there's a crowd of people out there that probably already have an MPC one and they're going to be like, well, do I need it? And I'll say the answer to that is no, you don't need it. You don't need to refresh your MPC. I would say that this MPC one plus would definitely be great for someone that just wants to get into the Akai ecosystem at a budget price and having this at $700, just like the other MPC one is fantastic. But if you are looking to update and you want to get the plus, then yeah, absolutely. That's up to you. I'll leave that up to you. And you know, if you want to sell your old MPC one, get some money back and then put it towards the MPC one plus, that's totally dope as well. And I can totally understand why people will, will be upset about the refresh of the MPC one as the MPC one plus. Trust me, you will be in my comment section let me have it and yeah i will teach you and educate you so yeah to the right of me i have more content for that ass make sure that you subscribe and also check out the links in the description box i will not have an affiliate link or anything like that up maybe i might but other than that make sure that you support my mpc1 masterclass which is available now and yeah ask any questions that you want in the comment section I will get to them shortly.